the primary purpose and function of the Moose Hide campaign is to raise awareness of the responsibility of men as it uh, relates and pertains to violence against women. Violence against women and children in First Nation communities is a, a, an important issue that we as men need to be concerned about because there's too many instances um, that we either hear about in, in the media, that we hear about in our neighboring communities, that we see in our own communities. In many communities like Glass and where I'm from, um, there's um, a lot of violence that's unseen by the general public because the females stay at home and the kids take it to school with them. I grew up in, uh, on a reserve and uh, there was violence. I witnessed violence uh, many times and it was mainly associated with uh, drinking. It had a lasting impression on me in terms of uh, the, the negative impacts of, of violence and how it can uh, tear apart families, how it can destroy relationships and have long-term impacts. It's, uh, I found it's intergenerational, that uh, it seems to, uh, the children grow up uh, with a, a, a likelihood of, of being violent themselves if they witnessed it as, as children, as being something that was acceptable. As a health manager in every community, they see the violence, they see the drug abuse, they see the alcohol abuse, and um, most of us see the poverty state that they're living in, and the dad, um, or whoever's uh, doing the violence against the women or the children is frustrated. No work, 95% unemployment rate. It's heartbreaking because we go to their household, we go to uh, look in their fridge, look in their cupboards, there's no food, and the dad gets a little bit of money, he goes inside to drink and comes home drunk and abuses his wife. Or... It wasn't always like that. Uh, and I think that uh, our values and teachings from our elders are still alive and I come from a background where we honored the woman in particular with the coming of age where chiefs would wash the feet of the of the coming of age that's how much respect that they had for the coming of age and for womanhood I mean after all the um, the the women they are so fundamental. They, they're giving birth to our children and to all the generations. So they are the center of love in the family. Violence against women is an important issue because it's real, it exists, and it has a, a very diminishing effect on, on wellness of uh, individuals, families, communities. And unless something is done about it very specifically, it will continue and uh, really diminish the capacity of First Nations to be well. Men are, are not very good, how do you put this, nurturers and they don't really share stuff and that's part of the issue, right, is that uh, we have to be able to step forward and show that we're human beings when we hurt, we hurt and be able to share that with each other, say look, this is what happened and have a way to sort of build a sort of understanding and support each other because I think that's part of the issue is uh, I think a lot of men when they stand up with these, they feel that they stand alone and I think what men have to do is to know, I'll stand with you. I think about the old days when um, there was a different environment and people didn't just talk about things. If they did, they did something about it because it was the right thing to do. We don't do that on a regular basis anymore and we need to do that. We need to be open and upfront about what actually is reality in each of our communities. And if violence exists, then we need to address that. And there's a core reason behind some of that violence. Let's address that. Let's change the environment. Let's change the values. Let's change the teachings so that we start moving away from this uh, human aspect that is not really comes from it, it's a learned behavior that really needs to we need to break that down. I wanted to do my part in supporting this campaign because it's so important just to support the need for change in violence against women and children. But it goes beyond that. As First Nations people, as Aboriginal people, we have a long path before us 
of healing and uh, reclaiming our lives. And we have to start somewhere. And I think this is a great place and a great way to start. I challenge you to take a stand against violence. I challenge you to take a stand against violence. I challenge each and every one of you. I challenge you. I challenge you. And I challenge you all to get involved in the Moose Hide campaign. To break the cycle of violence in our communities. To honor the women in our communities. We need a commitment by each and every one of you to help resolve this serious problem.